You're already swatting them away, but brace yourself. That mosquito problem is about to get worse. News 4's Alexis Zotos is finding out what's being done and if your neighborhood will be sprayed. Alexis is live downtown tonight. Steve, if you might be able to see a lot of these mosquitoes that are just flying around us with all of our camera lights on right now. We are down at the riverfront by the floodwaters, and the St. Louis Health Department is telling us tonight the bigger issue is actually going to be when these floodwaters start receding. We can't use our back deck at all because the mosquitoes are so thick. Virginia Harris lives in St. Peter's, and with the influx yeah. of mosquitoes, things are not feeling very home sweet home. It's bad. We to walk in and out of my front door, I have to get a jacket and swat them away, or I use the leaf blower sometimes just to get out of the house. This is a picture she took Monday night. You can see the mosquitoes swarming the front door of her condo. That's with the front door doused in deep woods off with a yellow bug light. All the precautions that you're supposed to take, right? And nothing, nothing helps. St. Peter's Health Department sprayed the neighborhood early this morning. They came by about 4.30 this morning. But we spotted many mosquitoes still lingering, especially near the standing water in the back of the condos. Cities like St. Peter's and St. Charles spray on a routine basis. Same with St. Charles County. Cities like St. Louis spray on request. People can ask through the Citizen Service Bureau. When there are large events, sometimes we'll go out prior to the event just to um, be proactive. But the city of St. Louis is a bit short-staffed. So we have a valiant um, uh, team of one at the moment, um, uh, but we're, we're working on that. The city of St. Louis, St. Louis County, and St. Charles County have no reports yet of West Nile. But across the river in Illinois, a mosquito sample in St. Clair County tested positive for the potentially debilitating West Nile virus. I'm worried about me and my daughter and West Nile. It is a health hazard. So the health department really wants us to, of course, pass on the really basic information of using bug spray, wearing long sleeves and pants during those dust and dawn hours where mosquitoes are the most active. And of course, with floodwaters really being an issue all of across our area, you want to make sure you don't have standing water, especially with more rain on the way this week. Live downtown, Alexis Zotos, News 4.